Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now today we're going to be diving into a new single from Metallica titled 72 Seasons, exactly like their new release that is coming out in less than two weeks now. I cannot wait as I've been a fan of Metallica since I was a kid. Kind of nostalgic feeling like I'm back in a car ride on a road trip listening to them in my little CD player. Uh, can't wait for this. So excited. But if you like it, let me know what you think. And if you enjoy my content, please consider leaving a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss my videos again. But that being said, let's get started with 72 Seasons by Metallica. Kind of feels like we're like in a final boss, final boss uh, in a video game or something. Okay. Okay, uh, we got to pause, you know, we got to do our pauses here, but uh, this is so much like signature Metallica, long, 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 long instrumentals before the song starts. And then we're getting that, you know, signature thrashy feel. It, it honestly feels like very reminiscent of old school Metallica. And I'm really, really digging it. Also loving, I've said this before, James's voice just ages like fine wine. I don't know what the hell he's drinking or doing to himself, but it sounds so, so nice and crispy like a, like a sizzling steak and it just kind of like oh, it just gives you chills all over it also try not to move around your chair challenge impossible uh, i'll just say that but this is fucking great i'm gonna go back just a little so i don't you know i'm just gonna shut up okay Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that change. I love these visuals too. They're fucking good. I love that so fucking much. Okay, that was great. Uh, I feel like, uh, I, honestly, the other singles that I have dropped from this new album so far, they've all been very short uh, compared to what a usual Metallica song. Usually Metallica songs are a lot, lot longer. And then we have Pan Out to the album cover. Okay, I love that so much. why that wasn't necessarily making me feel nervous and anxious uh that was fantastic i i mean i've said this in the beginning of my video i've been listening to metallica since i was a little kid so it's, it just brings me back to memories of holding my little bedazzled cd player and going on road trips to arizona i just you know i feel like a kid again um and i know a lot of people have been they've been getting a lot of controversy a lot of hate but to be honest i'm pretty you know happy with the new singles that have come out so far they felt 
I, I wasn't expecting anything super, super crazy. Uh, honestly, I feel like they kind of stuck to their roots. And um, I know it can be hit or miss with certain people, and that's completely okay. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but me personally, I've been really, really enjoying these singles, and I'm excited for this new album. I was really hoping to see them in concert. I know the tickets were insane, um, insanely overpriced, uh, but I did get to see them, fortunately, about four years ago, and they put on a hell of a show. So if you are going to the concert, let me know in the comments. I'll be living vicar uh, vicariously through you, uh, but I like this. I really, really enjoyed this. I want to dissect this a little bit more, so let's just jump into it. Honestly, even though this was an eight minute and something second song, it really felt like there was no filler or like it got boring to me, at least. It really felt like, uh, although some parts were repetitive, I liked the changes because they were just on completely different parts of the spectrum. You were getting such a very thrashy in your face like feel. Obviously, thrash is very instrumental focused um, and it is kind of like elevating you. You just want to run around, punch something, punch a stranger, whatever. And then we we're getting a slow down. I really liked how it was going back and forth to those. It kind of keeps you completely immersed and then you forget. I've been sitting here for eight minutes listening to this and plus the visualized uh, the visuals were really, really great. I loved how they you know, incorporated. It almost felt like an end of the world, post-apocalyptic kind of universe we were in, um, kind of like jamming out to the end of the world. And you see the pan out of the crib. Um, and obviously that is the album cover of 72 seasons. And you're kind of getting like almost like a full circle. Like it's almost like they're reflecting on their past selves and putting all of the knowledge that they have learned in those 72 seasons to good use. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this. I know People have been having opinions on Metallica, and I, I get it. I completely understand, you know, it's not for everybody. It's not everyone's cup of tea, and I know a lot of people have been expecting something a lot different, but to be honest, I kind of, I, I enjoy it. I, I mean, it's 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 honestly like the perfect rep recipe that Metallica has been making, and I enjoy what they've been feeding me, so I'm going to continue to enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you thought. You're going to be going to the tour. I really, really wanted to get tickets, but they're kind of impossible to get at this point. So if you are going, please, please let me know. I am going to be living vicariously through you. I did see Metallica four years ago, so I'm going to hold on to that memory forever. Honestly, still to this day, probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to. So I will, you know, watch a lot of videos. Hopefully they do some sort of like high definition recording and upload it to their channel or something. But I enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to get to know you. Uh, we do talk a lot about music, mental health. We play games. And I would love to, you know, get to know you guys a little bit better. My YouTube family, I would love to meet you guys over there on Twitch. But other than that, I do videos every single day. So stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.